What's going on everyone? So listen up, I have a question for you and I really want you to think about this one. And the question is, are you approachable? Like really, approachable. I saw something recently online and it got me thinking and I wanna break this up into two separate categories. The first category has to do with people that you know and the second category has to do with complete strangers. And just really quick, if you don't know me yet, I'm John. And the whole premise around my channel is to help older guys in this mostly ignored and overlooked demographic of middle-aged men to feel better about themselves and to get more out of life. So I'm glad that you're here. All right, so let's start out with people that you know. So for example, can someone that you know come to you with a problem or with something that might be bothering them? Now, I think for the most part that most all of us would say, yeah, of course, I am approachable. But what happens when somebody says something that you don't agree with or that you don't like? Think about it. How do you respond and how do you react to that? Now, take a step back and ask yourself, would you want to be in that same conversation with you? Now, maybe you're guarded or maybe you've just got your walls up for whatever reason, or maybe you're just overly defensive. For example, if someone came up to you and said, I can't always talk to you because you're so defensive, would your first automatic reaction be, no, I'm not. Now, I'm not saying that you always need to roll over and take it, right? Especially if what somebody is saying isn't true or is disrespectful. But start paying attention to your first response. Is it usually defensive or corrective? What about viewing the conversation from an outside perspective? Are you ignoring the other person's feelings? Are you interrupting them before they can even complete their sentence? Because a big part of being approachable is how good of a listener you are. Okay, now what about complete strangers or someone you just don't know? If a complete stranger came up to you out of the blue, out in public, do you automatically assume that they just want something from you? Or do you maybe think they're just trying to sell you something? Does your attitude automatically default to being defensive, guarded, and just overly annoyed because someone's talking to you? Maybe you wish they would just go away or is your initial reaction curiosity and just finding out what this person actually wants? And let's be perfectly clear. It's not that you always need to agree with everything everybody says, but it's important to remember that part of being a good listener is acknowledging the other person's feelings and experiences because what they're telling you is their reality. So if someone comes to you and says that they're uncomfortable about something or upset about something, the first thing should always be acknowledgement of the other person's feelings instead of immediately discounting what they're saying and their feelings and then just defending yourself. How good are you at taking constructive criticism or feedback? So do you feel personally attacked or do you just dismiss their reality and think that they're just crazy for even saying that? because another part of being approachable is respecting other people's viewpoints and being able to take constructive criticism without completely losing your mind. Now, I also realize there's plenty of people out there who don't want to be approachable and they just don't care. And if that's you, that's fine. This video probably isn't for you. But let's also be perfectly clear about something else. Being approachable or trying to be more approachable has absolutely nothing to do with caring about what other people think of you. It's about your ability to communicate effectively. And at least in my opinion, that's something that we should all care about. Now, because this is primarily a style channel, how you look and how you carry yourself plays a massive part in your approachability, especially from other people that you don't know. Think about it. Who would the average tourist want to ask directions from? The clean cut guy? or the guy that looks like he's about to murder someone. Seriously, it's that simple. The clothes that you wear and how you carry yourself shows people, at least on the surface, pretty much everything they need to know about you before you even say a single word. And if you're someone who's single and wants to be in a new relationship, working on your style is one of the most critical components in appearing more approachable. And before anyone tells me that the clothes you wear shouldn't matter, you are right. You are absolutely right. They shouldn't matter. But the reality is that they do, plain and simple. And it's the one thing that you have complete control over because you can either 
walk out of your house looking like a slob, or you can walk out looking put together. It is totally and completely up to you. Self-evaluation and self-reflection is a lot like turning the situation around and understanding what it's like to be the other person that's in the conversation with you. This is important in any relationship, whether that's with your spouse, your friends, your family members, or even if you're out on your first date with someone. Okay, so do me a favor, over the next day or so, be aware of your initial reactions and pay attention to see if your default reaction is defense and discounting what the other person says. And maybe even stop yourself before you would normally respond and really listen to what the other person's saying and maybe ask a few more questions. And one more thing, if you made it this far, you are one of the true legends. Please subscribe if you're not already. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.